Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tong. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get RE3, which is the reversed engineered source port for the Grand Theft Auto 3 game running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you know anything about the history of this project, it's been DMCA'd. So it means that the original GitHub is no longer available to be downloaded from, and therefore it's a little bit... And therefore, it's in a bit of a legal gray area at the moment. There's a copyright infringement lawsuit. This, no doubt, has a lot to do with the trilogy of games, the Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, all being re-released as a remastered version of the game. And unfortunately, this re-release does not include a macOS version. And unfortunately, one of the casualties of this is RE3, which is the source port. And this is a real shame because this is one of the few ways of getting this game to run on macOS properly in the full widescreen aspect ratio. Now, technically, it is possible to get games like Grand Theft Auto 3 running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. This is the iPad version of the game. It is going to display in the 4x3 aspect ratio. It doesn't have keyboard and mouse support, but if you plug a controller in, then you can get pretty good performance out of this. However, it is going to be the 4x3 square aspect ratio, so it's not exactly ideal for most MacBook users who are going to use the native screen, which is widescreen. What's interesting is that although RE3 is DMCA'd and it's not available in its original form, you can actually download it in other places. For example, if we go to archive.org, we can actually find lots of lots of people have made copies of RE3. And this is one of the many copies of the original GitHub, which was made during the first takedown of the actual GitHub page itself. And unfortunately, this one contains all the source code and everything, but it does not contain the latest nightly build. So for that, I'm going to leave a link in the description for this gree-online.pl, which is a Polish website. And someone has made a mirror of the actual binaries that have been compiled already. So all you need to do is, get, when you get to this page, click on this blue download button here. If we wait 10 seconds, then we can download all of the binaries that are available. So I'm going to click here, click to download from Alamo. And then once this file has downloaded, I'm going to click on this and it's going to extract. Here I do get an error with the actual zip file itself. So instead of using the archive utility, I'm going to use an application called the unarchiver. And that's going to extract the file for us. Once the unarchiver has opened the folder, we're going to double click on it. And then we can go to this folder here, which is the fourth one down, which is RE3, which has the suffix Apple at the end. And this is the macOS version of the game. So the next thing that we need to do is to get the actual game files themselves. So once we've sorted that out, we'll minimize that. So the next component is that we're going to need the Grand Theft Auto 3 actual game files themselves. So I actually have this game as part of my Steam library, and we're going to need the Windows version of this game. So I have Crossover open here, and if you don't actually know how to get Crossover working, I have a tutorial which you can follow. I'll leave a link to this tutorial in the description. This is going to explain to you how to set up crossover and also get Steam working. What I'm going to do is to open up my Steam library here, which is in crossover, and I've got my Grand Theft Auto 3, which is also part of my Steam library. And basically what I'm going to do is to download the actual game. If you don't have this downloaded already, then it's only 1.3 gigabytes, so just go ahead and do that. And once I've completed the download, I'm basically going to control or right click on the Grand Theft Auto 3 and then go to browse local files and then find the files of where they're located. Here, I've actually put them on my external solid state drive, but what you might need to do is you might need to control click on the bottle of yourself. So you can't see the bottle, you just open up the bottles menu here, find the one which says Steam, which is where you install Steam, and we go to control click here and then open C drive. And then we might be able to navigate if you installed it on the C drive of your bottle. The way I've downloaded it is on my external solid state drive. So I'm gonna go into my Steam apps of my solid state drive and find Grand Theft Auto 3. And here is basically the folder structure of what Grand Theft Auto 3 looks like. So I'm just going to minimize everything else. And uh, basically, I'm going to open a new tab for my downloads here. And then I'm going to put my GTA RE3 folder on the left here. And then we have the Grand Theft Auto 3 folder on the right. So I'm just going to put them side by side. So basically what we want to be able to do is drop all of these files into here. What I'm going to do is select everything here on the left and then move it to the right hand side here. And the very important thing is that we click apply to all and what we don't want to do is replace, we want to merge the files. If we replace them, then we're going to be missing folders and files and then we'll be getting an error message. What we want to do is merge them. So I'm going to click merge here. And uh, the models, for example, should contain all of the models, the call, generic, etc. So this source engine has been pulled over correctly. So the next thing we need to do is to execute this RE3 script. So the way to do that is to click on the top right hand corner of the screen and type in the word terminal. Press enter. 
And then what we're going to do is put this to the left, put this to the right. And what we want to do is to type in the word CD space, and we want to enable the path bar here. So view path bar, if that's not available to you already. And then we're going to drag this Grand Theft Auto 3 folder here. I'm going to press enter. So basically that means that we've entered the Grand Theft Auto 3 folder. If I type in LS, we've got all the files that correspond to here. And basically what we want to do is drag RE3 over now. If I press enter now, it's basically going to run the game. So this is pretty much loaded straight away. What we can do is go to options. We can do things like change the display settings. We can change the graphics. We can change the graphics setup as well. It's basically running at 1080p and uh, this is my desktop resolution at the moment. So what I want to do now is press start game, starting a new game. So here we've got the opening level of Grand Theft Auto. So here we've got our standard keyboard controls. We can just go to the car and press F to drive the car itself. We can use the W uh, key or the up key to drive around. And you know, it's basically working pretty well. It's better definitely than the iPad version of the game and it's in proper widescreen aspect ratio. Apparently there are still several bugs in this game which have not been fixed since the actual takedown itself. The takedown definitely prevented um, a lot of development for this. However, it is a very functional, perfectly working game. For example, one of the bugs that I've encountered is that if you go to controller setup and then you try to redefine controls, then the actual game will crash. So it's better to do this by configuration files outside of the game. Other than that, it seems to be a very serviceable source port that recreates the Grand Theft Auto 3 feel very accurately. Interestingly, I've got this game running in the background and it's consuming some CPU, but it's also running as an Intel application, which means it's using Rosetta 2 in order to run. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.